What's good YouTube, Akil here back with another video and today I'm going to be sharing some really solid sales from eBay. I've been doing some really good business on there so I'm kind of excited to share some of these sales with you guys. So if you guys enjoy these kind of what's all videos, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and without further ado, let's get into it. Alright y'all, so the first thing I got to share with you guys is once again something from Bose and as you guys know I've been finding a ton of Bose things ever since I moved to Arizona. And first up is this Bose Wave Radio slash CD player as well and I came across the just the Bose console by itself. I think I spent seven bucks for it and it was crazy because I usually spend maybe 20 to 30 bucks. Sometimes I might get some Bose things really cheap but this one was super cheap so I think like I said spent no more than 10 bucks for this unit and of course I didn't find the, the power cable the first day so I went back to the same thrift store maybe two or three days later and I found the power cable so that was really clutch but after I was checking the comps to see how much I can sell this for after I tested it of course I realized that if you have the remote for these things you can sometimes get an extra 40 or 50 bucks so I ended up ordering a remote control off of eBay from a different seller and I think I spent no more than like 15 bucks for it took a few days to get here and by doing that I was able to add a significant amount of profit to this unit so in total I think I spent maybe Let's call it $25 just to be just to round it off all together. And this unit sold for $199 with free shipping. And with me, anytime I'm selling anything for right around over $150, I tend to just add insurance on the item just for my like peace of mind and the buyer's peace of mind as well. Next up, we got one of these Netgear routers. And this one is the one to be on the lookout for because I find a bunch of these. Some sell for like $20, $30, bucks, and I pick those up all the time as well, especially if I get it for like 5 bucks. But these are the ones that you guys really need to look out for. This is the Netgear D6400 and this one sold for 115 with free shipping now the thing with this one it took a while I uh, forgot to tell you guys that bow system took maybe about three weeks for that one to sell that one sold kind of quickly but this one took about two months to sell but it finally did sell for 115 I think I lowered the price to uh, 115 after I had it up for like 129 I was probably just asking for too much but it is what it is this one sold and I think I spent eight bucks for this one. next up we got Kirby's Dreamland 2 and I picked this up with a lot of other games it was probably like six or seven games in a bag for like five bucks and this one sold for 35 bucks after like two or three days of having it listed probably could have asked maybe 40 bucks for this one but but I seen the last few people had sold theirs for 35 and I just went ahead and I matched their price and like I said sold pretty quickly so I'm not gonna say every Nintendo game sells really well but this one in particular seemed to be popular and people are spending some decent amount of money on this one next up we got this Fuji Polaroid camera and the good thing about this one is that it actually had the leather case for it as well and I think I spent seven or eight bucks on this one and this one sold for 50 bucks once again took maybe maybe a month and a half for this one to sell I know I was pricing this one a little more aggressively than some other people had theirs listed for so I know I had to wait a little longer but that's something I'm trying to practice more I used to price my items on the lower end of what other people were getting but now I'm starting to price my items on the higher end so for that reason I'm seeing that you know my turnaround time is starting to slow up but at the end of the day when the item does sell I'm making sure that I'm maxing out on profit so definitely keep that in mind but like I said didn't have too much of big of a big investment with this one this camera actually sold once before but the buyer actually wanted to cancel it like almost immediately after they purchased it they probably found a cheaper camera and just wanted to cancel it and those types of things happen when you're pricing your items on the higher end but it is what it is Next up we got this camcorder from Sharp and I spent no more than three bucks for this camera. It was already in a nice bag with all of the accessories, the remote control and everything like that. And one thing that I've learned just to kind of make sure that my, my descriptions are really, really accurate some some stuff like this when I'm testing it out for me testing it out is not like a super detailed testing so I made sure with this unit in particular especially since it was more expensive I just let the buyer know that I didn't test every single function of it so you know it powers on you know it records it you know you can do stuff like that but for the most part I didn't test every single function so I just wanted to let the buyer know that they went ahead and they sent me an offer for a hundred bucks and I accepted it I think I was asking 120 and I just happily took the hundred bucks because I knew I was pricing my item a little Little more aggressive than I usually do. Next up we got this Corsair Vengeance gaming keyboard and I actually sold this one in the past. I think I may, may have even included this in a previous What Sold video but I like just being transparent with you guys. I actually got a return for this same item only because the buyer simply changed their mind. They thought it was going to be a RGB keyboard meaning that it would light up and change colors but this one was just a solid like a slate gray keyboard and didn't change colors and I actually like this because I felt like it kind of fit the aesthetic of my, my office but it was just a little too noisy for me so I went ahead and I listed this first time I listed it sold for 45 bucks uh, free shipping 
next time I listed it because of the kind of inconvenience of having to accept that return I actually charged 50 bucks and then I charged uh, six bucks for shipping mainly just so I can see if I can make a little more profit and the same item sold for more money so definitely keep that in mind so next up we got a pair of Zalero walking shoes and I picked these up from a thrift store that I usually don't go to I think I spent maybe 10 bucks on these shoes and at first I had these shoes priced pretty high I think I was asking 69 bucks but I was also accepting offers for this one and I got a good offer of 45 bucks and I just went ahead and accepted that and once again I was charging shipping for this item I tell you guys all the time anytime I'm accepting an offer on an item I always charge shipping so for this item I was able to bring in a decent amount of profit for these next up we got the Guitar Hero Live for the Nintendo Wii U and I thought this was gonna sell for a couple hundred bucks maybe even like 150 140 something around those lines I didn't even check the comps when I saw this um, when I actually picked this up from the thrift store but the funny thing is once I got home I realized that these weren't really selling for too much much money a lot of people were selling these for anywhere between like 40 to 50 bucks some were charging shipping some weren't so for me since I realized that this was break this was basically a open uh, kind of like an open box I just went ahead and I listed it as open box since everything was still wrapped up and sealed and the good thing was I was able to grab 60 bucks for this and I think I spent $15 for this so got a decent amount of profit and I shipped this out via FedEx since the package was a little too long to ship it out with pirate ship next up we got a Xenia blazer and I picked this one up from the thrift store I think I spent 10 bucks on this one as well I'll see if I can find the clips in the in-store footage for you guys of this particular blazer but I priced this one once again priced it kind of aggressively I was asking like 110 got a solid offer of 85 and I went ahead and accepted that only because I know this blazer was worth it it was it was definitely an expensive piece but it did have some flaws by the sleeves and it was an unfinished blazer meaning that it didn't have any cuffs or anything like that so I just wanted to make sure that you know I just kind of got rid of it as quickly as possible mainly because a lot of menswear isn't selling as fast as it used to for me so when I got a solid offer for this blazer I just went ahead and accepted it next up we got the Sonos one and this is my first time selling anything from the Sonos brand when I first seen this it looked super modern and it looked really nice and clean so I had to grab it up I didn't even know what Sonos was really about but once I checked the comps on these with the particular model number I seen that these were selling for well over a hundred bucks so I grabbed it up and I think I I spent like 950 for this particular unit and it took a little while for me to even get it listed because I was trying to test it out and the thing with this one you actually need an app to test it out so once I got the app and I was able to make sure that it was working just fine I got it listed up on eBay for 150 bucks plus eight dollar shipping and for me just charging eight eight bucks for shipping it means a lot because I used to do everything with free shipping and now I'm realizing that I was leaving a ton of money on the table so for me just trying to add some more profit to the overall numbers has been really really big and like I said this one took for just about maybe three weeks for this one to sell next up we got a pair of Carhartt boots and I picked these up for five bucks I usually try to clean shoes up or try to restore them just a little bit but since these were workwear boots I figured the person that picks these up really wouldn't mind if there's any type of flaws or distressing on this one so I just went ahead and listed these for 50 bucks with $12 shipping and this one sold within about two weeks and like I said only spent five bucks on these didn't have to clean them so really good sale next up we got this vintage leather jacket from Gap and when I seen this jacket it was actually in the men's section so I thought it was gonna be a men's jacket and it actually fit me but once I realized that the buttons were on the other side I knew this had to be for women and I listed this more aggressive than other sellers had it listed for some sellers had the same exact jacket same size they had it listed for like 50 and for me since this one was in such good condition and of course it was a vintage piece and as you guys know vintage is really trendy right now I just priced mine for like 20 bucks more than the last sale was and it sold for 69 bucks with nine dollar shipping so definitely want to make sure you guys are charging shipping for some of these items and don't be afraid to just price your items a little more aggressive than other sellers because once their item is sold and you're the only one with it it'll definitely fly off the shelf next up this one was crazy probably my favorite sale of this whole video uh, this one is the HP 48 GX kept graphing calculator and this one was crazy because not only did it come with the calculator but it came with a bunch of different programs as well and I listed the program separately and it didn't sell yet but I'm, I'm gonna make sure I share that in the next video hopefully it sells by then but this one sold for $1.99 with free shipping and it sold super super quick so I, I feel like I left some money on the table probably should have charged shipping for this item probably should have maybe asked 209 or maybe 219 because it wasn't a ton of competition with this one but I made sure that I took pictures of it to, to show the buyers that it actually works because a ton of people had these listed but 
because a few other people had these listed but they were selling it for parts but for me since I was the only one with it probably should have charged a little more but if you guys come across this calculator definitely grab it up even if it doesn't work you can still sell it for some decent profit if you sell it for parts and another good tip that I got for you guys a lot of these calculators sometimes you might pop some batteries in there and it doesn't work just try using some apple cider vinegar and put it around the springs and like any or anywhere around the bot the battery compartment and it usually just fix that up really quickly really easily so definitely keep that in mind all right y'all that's all i have for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also drop a comment let me know which one of these were your favorite sale which, which was something interesting that you learned from this video definitely want to hear from you guys and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace I'm tight and now I'm